This whole thing started a few days ago when someone put up a video saying that uh, police bullied an elderly lady. And police came out with a statement to say, look, this lady was lost and we were actually helping her and we had bought food for her and helped her home. Now TOC has put up a video uh, taken by that person who made the original allegation and said police have lied and they didn't buy food for her and that they shouted at her, basically bullied her. You know, it's regrettable that these very false statements are being made. Uh, the TOC's video clip is not clear and it's partial because it doesn't capture both the points where they say police lied. So I've asked police to release the clips from their body-worn camera, and you can see it, it's clear, and once you see it, there can be no argument. The police statement was correct, accurate. What TOC says is false. The body-worn camera shows that the police officer was helping the lady, he bought food for the lady, passed it on to her, and the clip also shows exactly what was said by the police officer. The officer wasn't even speaking to the old lady. She speaks Hokkien. The officer spoke in English to the elderly lady's helper. And the officer said, and I quote, she never wear a mask, you know. The elderly lady has dementia. And her daughter has confirmed this. And the daughter is upset. And she told the police, she's upset that the old lady has been taken advantage of by TOC to spin a story. Because TOC had put up a video of the lady saying various things. And she, you know, you can tell people who have dealt with people who have dementia will know that you can sometimes get them to say many things. They will not remember what they had uh, half an hour earlier. So TOC, you know, you go and interview her, this old lady, try and get her to say things. I would say this is despicable and how low people will stoop. Unethical, cynical. This whole exercise by TOC is quite malicious to attack the police. We have many elderly people in Singapore. What happened here is not an unusual occurrence. Some, a fair number have dementia. They get lost in the housing estates. Police are often called. They go there, they help them. And that is what happened here. So TOC took one such incident, which I say is not unusual, twisted the facts and said, Police bullied her, chased her away, they did this. To, TOC has done this to try and cast doubt on the police, to damage the trust that people have in the police. And it's really a disservice to the thousands of police officers who have been fighting in at the front lines for the whole of last year and the, so far this year, dealing with COVID while keeping law and order. When any police officer does wrong, we charge that officer take disciplinary action. People who have seen media stories of police officers being charged, they are in fact dealt with seriously. But when they are wrongly maligned, I won't sit by and do nothing. The two officers in the video, one is a team leader, the other is a deputy team leader. The officer who has been seen speaking on the video, the deputy team leader, has 23 years of service in the SPF, 21 years in Yishun South NPC. You maliciously attack officers like this who spend their entire lives serving Singaporeans. He is an officer with a heart. In his spare time, he helps out in family service centers. He does community work. He has gone overseas to help out when natural disasters struck. And here, he went to buy food for the lady and made sure that she went home safely. It's not a part of a police officer's duty to go and buy food for uh, people who are lost. But he does that, and instead, he gets branded as a bully. It's really quite sad. 